So next event up on the track is the third heat of six for the under 10 girls, 800 metres. A lot of 800 metres to round out the day here on day one of the 2020 State Combined Events Championships. So with hip number one, Madeline from Bendigo, hip two, Chelsea from Mentone, hip three, Matea from Melton City, hip four, Ruhani from Berwick, in hip five, Marley from Camberwell Malvern, hip six, Lauren from Box Hill, hip seven, Shane from Berwick, hip eight, Mia from Craigieburn, hip nine, Tembi from Q, hip 10, Alexa from Box Hill, hip 11, Molly from Essendon, and rounding out our competitors with hip 12, Alia from Geelong. So our competitors there getting ready to go. See our Berwick athlete doing a bit of dance moves as they do try and get ready to go on the start line. So a number of our athletes do have a teammate next to them. Lockie, you'll actually be interested to know our under nine boys were our dance champions of the day. Um, our very, very heavily entertained during their 100 metre and their hurdle events at the start line. So they have uh, they I are the reigning that, Kim. champions I don't know currently. what you're talking about. No, they were pretty, uh, just when you were out taking some picks early today, you might have missed the shots, but um, they definitely were entertaining. So we are underway to a clean start. So we didn't have anyone in lane four, so we will try and figure out who that missing athlete was. We can see the little runner there from Essendon out in the outside lane, flying away from her competitor in Alia from Geelong. So Molly looks to be off to an early start before they do come into all into lane one and yeah she is flying around so it is going to be molly from essendon going to make the dash in this 800 meters we then go back to our geelong so we didn't have uh, tembi from q in second place trying to bridge a bit of that gap and not let molly go too far So a little bit of a change here as I do go through the bell lap in a minute 28. So our winning athlete is going to fall back a few positions. So uh, Alia from Geelong has taken the late lead, but there are a few athletes up there on her shoulder. We can see Shane from Berwick out there on the outside. She's decided that she wants to take this 800 with about 300 metres to go. So it is Shane. Shane from Berwick out in front. We can see the orange and white of Melton City. So that's Matea with hip number three. But another late dash from Alia from Geelong. So a few jostling for positions as our Berwick athlete does get back in front. So the race isn't over here, folks. It does look like the Geelong athlete is just let back a little bit now. But the Melton City is going to make a bit of a charge now at the Berwick athlete. I don't think she was ready for this one now. The Mountain City uh, athlete is moving up forward, which is Matea from Mountain City. So Matea's taken the lead right now, and she's actually now uh, left Shanae down there, and we've got the Essendon athlete making a bit of a charge back. So Molly from Essendon has taken a bit of a charge back, but Berwick ain't going to have a bar of that at all. She's actually come back now over her shoulder, and I think she's even going to chase the Mountain City athlete down in first position as they come to the top of the bend. Yeah, so it is still, though, our Melton City athlete in Matea that's got the lead going into, but it's going to be a race down, and she's led her almost down the inside of the track there. So Ruhani, as well from Berwick, is flying down now. So it's... We were calling that wrong. There's two Berwick, but this is Ruhani there from Berwick that's taken the lead, 305.82, just ahead of our Melton City athlete in Matea with early leader from Essendon, Molly there, as the rest of the athletes do cross the line. 